everyone you care about, everyone you love, they're gonna die. Crisis on Earth X, the two-night crossover event, starts Monday, November 27th on The CW. For the first time, events will align that give Team Flash a chance to discover your identity. This is earlier than you anticipated. It is of no concern. Like hell, you know it's at risk. Episode 406, when Harry met Harry. How is our search for the mysterious DeVoe coming? Fantastic. <laughs> the team is trying to figure out who DeVoe is, and they don't really have much to go off of. We need more help, maybe I should call my friends. You're what? I think he's being sarcastic. Hey Harry, all of your friends are in this room. What the team doesn't realize is he's just gathering up a council of himself. So what Harry learns is that it's not just other people that he doesn't like so much. This was a bad idea. He doesn't like himself that much either, and none of them can really get along, and it's really up to Cisco to sort of get the team or the council to work together so they can figure out who that is. When you stretch, it stretches. When you squish, it squishes. Ralph, now that he's a superhero, he really wants to have his own suit, and Cisco surprises him by giving the first version. What is this, a puppy's raincoat? At first glance, doesn't look like it would quite fit him, but you know, as he's elongated man, it stretches into the form-fitting suit that is really unflattering. This meta has the ability to leave a psychic imprint on objects. We also, in 406, we introduce Black Bison, and Black Bison has the ability to bring effigies to life, so that becomes a little difficult for Flash and Ralph. You let her get away. We could have caught throughout her. Throughout the episode, uh, Barry has to teach him the lesson that it's more important to save people than to catch the bad guy. You have the makings of a hero. Hey everybody, so I'm back from the Justice League premiere, so let's break down this four-way crossover teaser. Everyone you love, everyone you care about is going to die. We finally got a look at EarthX Prometheus, we finally got a look at Nazi Oliver, we got a better look inside that wedding at some of the other characters getting the crap blown out of them by the EarthX team-up. So the teaser raises more questions than it answers, but it does give us a better look at some of the other things that are going on. So there's a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So I know a lot of you are already talking about characters that might be dying during the Fortnite crossover. Like there might be more than one character because we know that Captain Cold is like leaving the role of Captain Cold. So they might give him an out by killing him. But there's a lot of people that think that Felicity might die. Obviously, I don't think they're going to kill our Felicity because we've already seen her filming episodes past the crossover. So she's totally fine. So it sounds like they might wind up killing EarthX Felicity either before the crossover and it's sort of like the prequel that leads Nazi Oliver to go crazy or it has something to do with setting off the events of the crossover. But these pictures of the boots walking through Star Labs is just another picture of our heroes walking to Breach to Earth X. Then you have Prometheus opening the doors here. What looks like Star Labs, like the way they cut this is very misleading. So you don't know which building he's inside of. But I believe they said that Josh Sagara is not coming back. So Earth X Prometheus, I think, is supposed to be a different character. So that could be Tommy, that could be somebody else. I think the idea of what Prometheus stands for is a reckoning for one of the characters. But I don't think that he's simply going after Earth X Oliver. He's coming after one of our heroes, like our version of Oliver, for some reason, too. So it's still wide open to theory crafting. I think the idea is, is that some of the emotional turns that they were teasing a couple months ago is that some of like the really dear characters to us are actually dead on Earth X through the actions of some of the other people on Earth X. And maybe they find a way to blame what happened on our heroes because there's a Speed Force storm in the trailer here. I don't know why they would have put that in there because that's footage from the end of season three on The Flash. So what does that have to do with what's going on on Earth X? Unless this is also something that happened on Earth X. We'll find out. It's just weird when you find old footage from other unrelated episodes showing up in your big Fortnite crossover teaser. Random picture of Barry staring at something, another stormtrooper, a bunch of them that look like they're getting ready to kill a bunch of people on Earth X. I think the idea is, is that everything that looks like it's on fire is on Earth X. So like anytime it looks like something is going crazy in the background, that's where they are, with the exception of the wedding on our Earth. You get another great reaction shot from Joe, just like, what the hell? Maybe he's looking at Supergirl because he's staring up in the air. You have Cisco and then Caitlyn getting the crap blown out of them. This just looks like them being ambushed at their first attempt at the wedding. Like they try to have the wedding in the normal way. There's actually pictures of Iris in her wedding gown. 
then they get ambushed and then they try to have the wedding again much much later because a lot of you have probably seen them being married on the beachfront it's a much smaller affair so that looks like it happens after they solve everything like okay let's try this wedding again only now we'll just do it in a much simpler way but let me know what you think of the idea of Nazi Oliver. And I know everybody's asking about Evil Barry, but I think the whole idea here is that the reverse flash of the crossover is Harrison Wells. So I'm not expecting to see an actual evil version of Barry because we just did that during season three. So I don't think they want to be redundant. And what might end up happening is that he might be dead along with Earth X Iris because, you know, maybe they were in love on Earth X. But because it's Nazis, they wouldn't look too kindly on the color of Iris's skin, so she might be dead or in a concentration camp somewhere. So just imagine if there were people that the Nazis would have gone after during World War II and really hated, they also probably hated those people who are like the characters on our teams. So that's why we might not see every single alternate version of the characters. Then not to be forgotten, we have all the Council of Wells stuff that's happening tonight. So obviously they're introducing Black Bison, like they said. So you have sort of the elongated man Barry plot going on on one side of things where he's like slowly trying to teach him that just because you can catch the bad guy doesn't mean that you should not save the people that need to be saved. So sometimes the path of the hero means allowing the villain to get away so that you can do some greater good. So we've seen Barry do that in the past before. Like he's had opportunities to kill the reverse flash in previous seasons, but he doesn't because a true hero tries to see the good in everyone and always considers everything that's happening in the moment, not just their initial goal of taking the villain down. So that'll be fun. I know everybody's still waiting for Sue Dibney to come along. Like, I think that we hope that Ralph is still kind of a dirtbag by the end of the season, but he slowly meets her in the back half of the season, and she sort of turns him around a little bit. Like, he learns to be a hero with Barry, but it's really Sue Dibney that pushes him over that hero ledge. So just everybody keep your eyes peeled for a character named Sue to pop up during Elongated Man's storyline. And then obviously the Council of Wells is going to be nuts. So it'll be fun to see which of the versions are straight out of the comics and which are sort of people that he's basing on real life tropes. So what'll happen tonight is, is I'll post a video explaining the Smallville Arrowverse crossover because of what they did on Supergirl last night. That's actually a pretty cool thing that they did. People were asking me about it while I was at the Justice League premiere. But while you wait for everything, you can click here for my non-spoilery Justice League reaction video and you can click here to listen to the cast talk about the big characters they want to have in the sequel. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.